Hello my beautiful soul tribe welcome back to my channel this is Neetu so this is sort of an impromptu reading like uh, suddenly i was told to give this reading this is going to be a very quick messages from your guides i don't know what is that they want to bring forth today but uh, i i got this urge to do this reading and give you a quick um, messages from your guides so these are the three piles i have for you pile number 1 2 and 3 uh, and go ahead and select which your pile is drawing your attention and and uh, once you make your selection scroll down to the description box down below and click on the time stamps with reference to your particular pile and that is going to be your reading you take your time how much ever you want but i'll be starting with group number 1 now welcome group number 1 if you have selected this pile this reading is for you this will save it uh, for a little later okay so the card i have is four of wands and king of swords okay this is the time for you to claim your position claim your identity claim 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 is the word like it's time for you to shine it is time for you to bring in the stability bring in the foundation right uh, for you to build on top of it this is the time for celebration you are attracting some sort of celebration and the clarity for some of you it is about your work situation or your business situation or in some way shape or form your idea taking a uh, uh, form into the reality all right so it is becoming really grounded uh, like your idea is coming to fruition and it is going to work fantastically well and your guides are telling you not to doubt because it has got a potential to bring you a lot of success stability growth and a very strong foundation and a reason to celebrate so don't don't doubt your ideas and vision that you are getting so that that is something that i'm getting here because uh, for this king of swords i'm getting this vision like something has been downloaded something has been given to you uh, to act on it if you're doubting and if you are wondering is this true did i really get that idea or am i just um um am i just imagining it uh, the the answer here is from your guides is um you know you it has been given to you you know whether you want to call it as an imagination or a vision or a download whatever is the case our mind is collectively connected with others uh, you know so we are uh, sort of exchanging ideas all the time with or without our knowledge and whatever has come to you is definitely part of the part of the whole and you are to birth this idea without doubting it and that is something which your guides are uh, telling you to focus on right now um which is very important for you because it has lot of potential that they keep repeating it whatever this idea or vision or anything or any inspiring action that you are feeling or called to take at the moment you have to do that because it has or it is taking you to the place where where you are supposed to go this is sort of a stepping stone this is going to be the stepping stone and uh, and a bigger you can't see the bigger picture right away but this is going to be the stepping stone and that is something they are very sure about okay the card we have here is sunshine yellow dragon helps you to help animals so animals heal respect and understand them for some of you it is about humanity or humanitarian work or you have been thinking of uh, or, or this idea of working on something uh, where you want to serve earth serve animal kingdom or generally to be of service to the world to earth or help mother earth in some way shape perform your vision is absolutely true and uh, uh, the push that i'm getting from inside of me to to uh, bring this message so strongly i can't really uh stop <laughs> this energy coming out of me like yes this is the vision hold on to it bring into reality this has great potential this is going to be a major fulfillment achievement for you and this is part of your life purpose and don't doubt it for some of you definitely it is something related to animal um uh, taking care of animals pets or generally the nature something related to earth or something related to bringing love and light to earth or shining your light on earth uh, or helping others in some way shape or form these are all the areas that they are showing whatever the vision that has come to you it has a major potential and the last card we have is light absolutely you are the light you are the light bearer 
you're the light warrior it is time to reveal your radiant light to the world and the world is ready to receive you don't doubt the world is ready to receive your light it can handle your right uh, light but uh, you have to feel it you have to believe that you have the potential uh, or you are carrying so much of light within you and um, and it is time for you to release it to the world as well and uh, when i say releasing it to the world it is by your kindness by your love by your service of by being of service to others and that is what potentially your guides are trying to tell you push you um, nudge you towards the greater good of all which includes your good as well and that is the short and sweet messages that your guides are uh, giving you today and hopefully this resonates with you and help you in some way shape or form um, if you have liked the video please don't forget to subscribe see you in my next video love you all take care bye bye Welcome group number two. If you have selected number two, this reading is for you. Uh, for some of you, it is about understanding, clarity. Um, let's see. Okay, don't be so resistant. Some clarity is coming your way. We have Hermit here. This is a lot of searching for answers, understanding your place on uh, in planet Earth or generally where do you belong, where do you fit in, how, uh, what is that you're supposed to do. So there are a lot of questions that is running in your mind and you don't have to be so protective and so defensive at the same time. This is the time for you to drop your shield, drop your weapon and surrender. That is the word I'm hearing. This is the time for you to drop your weapon and surrender to the freedom of of uh, the free will to choose whatever you want to be whatever you want to become if you don't understand what it is your guides are telling you to really sit down and listen to your soul listen to your inner voice what brings you joy what what brings you freedom this is the time for you to express freedom um, uh, like never before this is the time for you to claim your freedom and that is part of your soul search which is going on here with the hermit uh, this is about solitude this is about um, being of light to yourself and light to others as well like you light the way for others and that is huge you light the way for others through your smile through your love through your kindness through your compassion uh, by uh, by free flowing energy through you you're allowing universe to work through you and you have to make space for the universe to work through you by surrendering your your defenses you ha you have to really be open for the universe to speak to to work through you uh, so that you can understand what is that trying to come through all right you have to uh, loosen up a little bit for the answers to come and you're being too defensive and uh, too too resistant and too overthinking and overloaded in your mind for the answers to come in so yeah you're looking for some answer and the clarity is coming in once you drop your shield and really um, be open for the answers to come in you cannot ask a question and uh, get inside your mind and start thinking all possibilities of the answers that may come then you are actually missing the point you are asking a question to the universe and you have to wait for the answer to come you cannot just make up some answers or try to uh, you know forcefully try to reach into the universe's mind and bring down that answer um, and that that is what your guides are trying to do to, to really calm down a little bit and the next card is Earth Dragon clears your path and the land around you. Stay grounded. Be ready to serve. Stuck energy is clearing. You can move beyond. Um, move forward in life. Yeah, this is stuck energy and you are about to move forward. You are about to release. This is about freedom again. You are getting unchained, unshackled to, to express yourself freely. And that happens when you really get on board with life. Get on board with what is happening around you and ground yourself so that the new future can start shaping up based on your current energy because what you're doing today is shaping your tomorrow and the future to come so you cannot expect to have all this resistance and defensive energy today and expect the universe to magically change everything because it, it cannot until you change nothing else changes outside of you and that is the biggest message for you group number two you have to be the change first oh <laughs> look at that freedom freedom is your theme now which your guides are trying to sell for you you know claim your freedom follow your heart and nurture your soul with love and freedom 
to grow. Yeah, this is the time for you to claim your freedom and really be that free spirit that you are. And if you're if you're wondering and in this process of soul searching and things like that, you have to be really open for the answers. You cannot ask question and then keep wondering where is the answer? Where is the answer? And you're missing the point. You have to calm down, calm down and ground yourself for the clarity to come in, for the answer to come in, for the energy to move through you and become something in your reality which you actually deserve and desire for that you have to put your guard down and allow universe to come in and how do you do that by calming yourself down right so that is your ticket to freedom that is your ticket to be who you want to be you know you design your life the way you want and not what others are expecting of you and that is your guide's concern at the moment that you are trying to become somebody else you are not but um that is what is creating the huge tug of war inside of you because you want to be something else and people around you want to be something else which you are not so there is some sort of clarity that you need and which is going to come and that is the confirmation through this reading to claim your freedom to be you to be you not anybody else right so these are the messages that i'm getting for you hopefully this quick message um sort of cleared your path and gave you some ideas and vision for what is what is to come and what is that you are supposed to do if you have liked the video don't forget to subscribe to the channel love you all take care bye bye welcome group number three if you have selected number three this reading is for you just we shall see it a little later and uh, 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 the first thing that I'm hearing is uh, what are you waiting for and uh, be open to help yeah, we have King of Cups and Magician. The Magician and the King of Cups. Yeah, be open to help. Maybe you're trying to create something. Maybe you want to build something. Maybe you want to bring something into your reality and be open to help because there is somebody coming in to give you the helping hand. Maybe a partner, maybe a business partner or maybe a partner in general for a soulmate or somebody, a friend. But there is a helping hand coming in. All right. And also another message that I'm getting is you have to be really um, emotionally sorted at the moment you, you, you are too confused or too caught up in your emotions. You have have to separate yourself from the emotions and do don't get caught up with the outcome this is exactly how i want to be your guides are telling you to be a little flexible with the plan allow us to to get in we need some wiggle room like it is too tight too cramped you know your emotions your feelings overall it feels too much and there is no room for the help to come in it could be your guides from the other realm or it could be a soul tribe that are there uh, who are incarnated with you to help you to bring you help or guidance that is needed at the moment but for you to receive the help you have to be open to receiving the help um, by um, by by announcing announcing to the universe that you're ready to receive the help you can't do everything by yourself and you don't have to do all by yourself you have so many people who are uh, destined to come into your life and to be of help at the moment so there are two things two messages that I'm getting for you it is to be open for help and uh, you don't have to do everything all by yourself help is around you but you have to let them in you have to allow them to come in receive help be open to receiving help and the second thing is you have to clear your emotions um, or get out of your mind and really ground yourself you need some emotional um, um, what do you call that decluttering if you will like uh, you have to really do something and take the take the charge out of this because it is too heavily charged the situation so the result what you want is not coming in because there is too much of energy of um, of difference of opinions I'm seeing a lot of uh, you know like uh, energy is bombarding around the subject so this is the time for you to take take the charge of the situation like taking control of the situation and divert your mind to do something else for a bit so that this this situation loses its um, intensity and then you can visit the situation a little later i don't know what they're trying to tell that is the message that i'm getting okay dark blue galactic dragon helps you listen to the voice of the universe absolutely you guys that is exactly what they're trying to help you with they are trying to help you with listening to the voice of the universe your voice is too loud at the moment 
you can't really hear universe speaking through you ignite the codes of your master blueprint access cosmic wisdom and enter higher service there is a lot that you have to do your destined to do your destined to become and to to um, welcome lot of grand visions into your life yeah sorry i had to pause there for a minute uh, my dog was making loud noises okay so this is what it is it is about you surrendering to the bigger picture or the higher vision to come through you and all your overthinking and overloaded mind is sort of stopping the universe to speak through you the answer is there answer is all along there but it is waiting for you to calm down a little bit so that it can uh, show itself into your reality this is the time for you to really um take the intensity and the heaviness out of the situation and divert your mind to something else and relax so that the answer can come in all right so the last card i have for you is surrender absolutely and the words here sums up probably our entire reading here surrender your need to control the outcome just be with life in this present moment i think that is a beautiful message for you to to completely uh, summarize what is that they are trying to tell you they want you to surrender your um need to control the outcome just be present with the life and let love lead the way not your worry not your fear not your doubts they want the love to lead your way love is the answer to your your question right now you have to really come from the place of love not from the overworked mind this is the time for you to take your mind off of the subject and focus on something else until the intensity comes down and you will receive the answer right so these are the messages that i'm getting for you group number 3 hope this helped you uh, because they they said your guides were like it is really important for us to convey this message and um, i'm really wishing and hoping that this helped you in some way all right if you like the messages if you like the video please subscribe to my channel love you all take care bye bye